Japanese identities of Koreans by forcing them to use Japanese names. When my name was Keoko, Belinda Sue Park is about how a family overcame these types of difficulties to remain as true Koreans. Their brave and patriotic minds caused me to read this book. This novel sets back in 1940 at Korea when Japan had taken everything away, even names of Koreans, since they had conquered Korea. Nationalists constantly fought to gain Korea back, however, countless numbers of them kept on dying defeating Japan. Along with this na courageous nationalist, Taeyeol, the main character, also wanted to fight. But how can he help? This was the largest problem for him and his sister, Sunhee, another main character. Sunhee wanted to prove herself to be useful by being some kind of help to free her country. One day, her uncle began to plan for a secret uprising against Japan, and Taeyeol and Sunhee got to help. However, Sunhee's passion was excessive, leading her to commit an unforgivable mistake that caused her uncle to disappear, not knowing whether he was alive or not. The theme of this book is to be brave at any moment. And Sunhee's mom hid a tree when, which was forbidden by Japan, and also her dad wrote articles that criticized the Japanese government, and all of these small but courageous actions led them, their country to free. People who are interested in Korea should have given this book a try, since this book not only contains Korean history, but also about Korean culture and Koreans' ways of thinking. Also, this, Korea, this book is a heroic story, so people who like to read about heroic to give it a try.